So is there a com common theme throughout all your work? You know, I think that American question of freedom, the tension between individual freedom and collective freedom is a big one. But for me, I think the sub-theme of American history is race. You know, we were founded on the idea that all men were created equal. But oops, the guy who wrote that owned more than 100 human beings and didn't see fit in his lifetime to free any one of them, didn't see the contradiction or the hypocrisy. And so it set us on a journey that is constantly having to struggle, not only with race, but racism. I mean, look what's going on now. We have a presidential candidate who takes two days uh, to wink, wink, uh, remember to disavow an association with David Duke of the Ku Klux Klan. And that's, you know, telling you how much is still there. Well, the new documentary is Jackie Robinson. It's about Jackie Robinson, who was the first African-American baseball player in the white major leagues at the That's time. Right. Because it was already the Negro Leagues. Um, why is Jackie Robinson's story an important one to tell? Well, we have this film that we've just finished, it's a small film, two-part, four hours, not the big long ones, mm -hmm. uh, that'll be out Monday and Tuesday, I, I made with Sarah Burns and David McMahon, and they deserve equal credit. Mm -hmm. They're co-producers and co-directors. We treated him in our 1994 baseball series, and it was an important part of that series. But Jackie Robinson, like George Washington, like Abraham Lincoln, is smothered in mythology. And we thought it would, might be possible to liberate him from the barnacles of sentimentality that attach and try to free him because what Jackie has to teach us now is almost what's going on. You know, the, the Bible, Ecclesiastes says, there's nothing new under the sun. That means human nature doesn't change. It just superimposes itself on these random chaos of the events or seemingly random chaos of events. So Jackie is talking about Confederate flags. It's talking about driving while black. It's talking about stop and frisk. It's talking about burn black churches. It's talking essentially about Black Lives Matter. So if we're curious, but are not comfortable talking today, having a courageous conversation about race, Let's look at Jackie Robinson's life and see how many of the same tropes that are part of our life today on today's headlines, Jackie addresses. And then you realize how important he actually is. The most important person in baseball, without a question, and the most important person in American sports. With and a question. great player, not just a right, courageous no, player for thing. taking the No, the, no, I, I could, you could argue that he's not the greatest baseball player, but he's the most important person. Who has their number retired in all 30 stadiums? No one is allowed to, to um, wear the number 42, except a week from Friday when everyone, from the bat boy to the manager to the star pitcher, the guy sitting on the bench, on both teams in every stadium, in every game they wear the number 42 because he didn't in this media culture didn't just talk the talk he walked the walk and every day he got up and said i wish to make the lives of other people better and that is you know and what we're trying to do is tell a more complete story with sarah burns and david mcmahon and i wanted to do was say once you stripped it of the sentimentality and nostalgia you have a complicated dimensional well, person you even were able flaws. to talk to his wife still because she's still alive uh, rachel robinson is almost 94. she has all of her marbles and some of mine, and I want them back. <laughs> and uh, she is, is one she of the most. She was part of his greatness. I right? don't think. Um she is central to it. I mean, we had the great good fortune to interview the president and first lady, and you realize they were two couples hurtling through different times and spaces. But this was a black man who went through a door that no other black man had gone through before. We, we actually have a clip of that right now. Jim? Mr. Ricky sent Buzzy Bavese to Montreal to see Jackie in his first year in the minors. And Buzzy happened to sit in the area where the wives were. Rachel was in the group. When Buzzy saw her, listened to her, and realized she herself was a college graduate and very intelligent, very classy person, he went back and said to Mr. Ricky, if Jackie was smart enough to pick her for his wife, he's the guy you want. There's nothing more important than family than, than a real partnership, which is probably what made him such a great man because he had the judgment to find a partner uh, that, well, I, I think that's it's true. I mean, I think that's a, a, a sign of his character that he chose a woman that was his equal. I don't think he would have had Jackie Robinson without Rachel. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's I mean, real. And, and it's that's completely real. real. They're so true. There's, you know, this may be the most powerful couple on earth, but they're so honest and transparent, uh, and there's not a couple on earth that doesn't, you go, you know that moment when you have to say, You're absolutely right, of, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. You know, it's so great. Well, Ken, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. It's always it's great to, to be see here. You. Thank you. Jackie Robinson appears April 11th on PBS.